I bought this $4,000 ball machine to see if I could learn how to tip pucks better in just seven days. In all my years playing hockey, I can count on one hand the number of times I've scored tipping a puck in. It's no surprise that I suck at tipping pucks though, as I've never dedicated any time to practicing. Maybe time spent on those suicides at the end of practice when I was nine years old could have been used a little more efficiently, eh? That's no excuse though, as the great thing about mastering this skill is that it's something that can easily be done at home if you have someone to fire balls or pucks at you. I don't have any friends, so I bought this ball machine for our hockey training headquarters to help out. I created a challenge for myself to spend spend 20 minutes a day tipping balls for a week straight. Testing was done before and after to see just how much improvement I could make in only seven days. Let's just say the results were insane. Woo! Before we get to my challenge, why should you care about tipping pucks? Well, nearly all of the best goal scorers in the world rely on tips to add a few goals to their totals throughout the year, and some players have even made a living doing it. Like Zach Parisi says, adding a few tip-in goals a year can make a big difference for your stats and help your team win some games. Try to get a little advantage. I mean, if this is four extra goals, five extra goals, you're going from 25 to 30. You gotta find different ways to score. So here's how my challenge went. I started day one by testing how many balls I could tip out of 20 from the ball machine, and I would leave the machine in the exact same spot so I could retest on day eight. All right, so here's a look at the ball machine. It's called Spinfire Pro 2. I can set the interval ball speed. I'm gonna do no spin here and the elevation. So I've got it set at 5, 10, 5. And just to give you guys a look, I've got a little uh, remote here. We're gonna show you how fast these come out. So I added 21 balls. So the first ball I'm just gonna let go by and the next 20, I'll try to tip. So here we go. It's one, ooh. Two, I touched it a little bit. Three. Four. Ooh, touched it, so it'll give it to me. Five. Six. Seven. There we go. Eight. Touched it, so nine. Ten. Eleven. Okay. That's it. So we gotta love it. Oh, missed one. I'm gonna have to add one. Ah. All right, so 11 officially. We'll have to check the tape to see how many I actually changed the flight path of the ball. But we're gonna go with 11 for the official count and then we'll do a second count once I get back to the computer. After video review, I changed the flight path of seven pucks on day one. So that will be my benchmark after the week is over. Time to get to work. Just wrapped up day five of my training. So far, the difference has been pretty crazy. It's been night and day from day one. I'm making contact with a lot more balls. Pretty excited for the test on day eight. Stay tuned for that. I've got two more days of training and then I'm gonna retest and see how we do. So stay tuned, let's go. Throughout the week, I noticed three keys to being more consistent with my tipping. Number one, drop your hand down on your shaft. The closer you are to the blade, the more control you will have. Number two, the quicker you can get your blade above where the puck will be when it gets to you, the better as you will limit the motion needed to make contact with the puck. Number three, get a laser-like focus on the puck and keep your eye on it all the way from the time it leaves your teammate's stick until it hits your blade. All right, so here it is, day eight, and time to see how much I've improved. Last time I tipped 11 balls, but only seven of those changed direction, so that's what I'm gonna be going for. Kind of beat seven today. I've got 21 balls in the hopper. First one I'm gonna let go by. Here we go, let's start it up. All right. Oof. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oof, 15, 16, 17, 18, that should be it. 18 out of 20, pretty crazy results compared to seven out of 20 on the first day. I knew I would do pretty good just based on how I've been doing the last few days, but coming in cold today without any warm ups, I didn't think I would get 18 out of 20, so pretty proud of that. Just shows you that practice does pay off, and if you work at something, you can get better pretty quick. Now, this test isn't perfect as tipping pucks on the ice from all different angles, distances, and speeds will be different than tipping tennis balls coming from a ball machine, but I do think there will be a fairly significant carryover. When I finished the challenge, I tried cranking the speed full blast and adjusted pretty 
pretty quickly. And I even got on the ice to see if I noticed a difference and I definitely saw some major improvements. But regardless, the idea of this test wasn't to prove that tipping balls from a ball machine would make you a better tipper. It was more to show you how big of an improvement you can see in an area that you struggle with if you just dedicate some time toward it. There are most likely small areas in your game that you could improve on that will help you turn you into a more complete player. Find those weaknesses and get to work. Whether it's a seven day challenge or just practicing certain skills every week, it's important to work on your weaknesses to become a complete player. And if you want me as a personal at home skills coach, make sure you download our app hockey training TV in the app store. And hey, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, can you do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel? Let's go.